Hi everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy from CloseOutExplosion.com. I have a wholesale business here in New York. Next time you're in New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse or you can order online. So today I'd like to discuss with you how to find cheap wholesalers for your eBay sales. eBay is you know, it's an amazing auction site. You could sell merchants by auction, you could offer a buy now price. You know, there's definitely many good opportunities on eBay. One of the approaches is to look for brand name, higher end designer merchandise, and the other approach is to look for more cheap, generic merchandise, and they're both, you know, viable approaches. And as of now, I'd like to discuss with you how to find cheap wholesale sources for eBay. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get a wholesale directory, whether you get a paid directory or you get a free directory, and that's going to give you a list of many different wholesalers. Then contact those wholesalers, go to their websites, and see what they have available, and see how cheap their prices are, and see if the products that they have at a cheap price match what it is that you want to do. So if you feel you could be very successful at selling um, you know, non-branded watches for women, then you want to find wholesalers that have those non-branded watches and see if their price is cheap enough. Now, one thing I would tell you, whenever you contact any wholesaler, you don't have to go by their published price. Many wholesalers will be glad, including myself, to give you additional discounts for larger quantity purchases. So they might have a price of, let's say, $3 for a watch, and they even might publish that if you buy 50 or more watches, they'll give you the watches at $2.75 each. But if you call them up or email them, or even better, go to the warehouse in person, and they say you're serious, they say you're ready to buy a large quantity of watches, they might even give you a lower wholesale price. Another way to find cheap wholesale sources is by using a site like yellowpages.com or the equivalent site in your country. And you can actually go to use that site for, for any I mean for a different country. Let's say you're living in Nigeria, you could go to the yellowpages.com website for the United States, search use the keyword wholesalers and find a list of wholesalers, contact them, look at their websites, see what they have available. Another way to find a wholesale source for cheap products is by contacting manufacturers directly. You could contact manufacturers that are listed on Alibaba and AliExpress. You can find manufacturers by searching on Google. There are trade associations that represent manufacturers. Call up those manufacturers and find out if they have any generic any private label products that they can sell you at a very low wholesale price. And find out also if they have any order cancellations. They might be happy just to send that merchandise out at a very low price because they've already produced that merchandise and if a buyer backed out, now they need to do something with that merchandise and they're going to want to recoup their costs. And sometimes they'll even sell you that merchandise below their cost just to get as much money back as possible. Another way to get cheap wholesale merchandise is by contacting importers because they're bringing the merchandise in and they're the, the first step in the food chain once the merchandise has been brought into your country. So contact them, make them a deal with them, see if they have any closeouts they can offer you. Now another way to get merchandise at a very cheap price is by going to warehouses that store merchandise on behalf of wholesalers, on behalf of distributors, on behalf of importers, and find out if they have any merchandise which they have taken possession of because the owner, the original owner of that merchandise was no longer paying their rent for that merchandise and they stopped paying rent for that merchandise and at some point the owner of the warehouse will take possession of that merchandise and now they want to sell that merchandise just to get some money back to recover their, their costs you know, that they, they laid out, basically the, the, the rent right, that wasn't paid on that merchandise. Another way to get cheap wholesale merchandise is to go to close out warehouses like my warehouse, see what merchandise is available. You know, besides brand name merchandise, I'll carry private label and generic merchandise. And sometimes even with a brand name merchandise, I'll have gotten such a good deal on it that I can pass on tremendous savings to my customers and I can give you that merchandise for below wholesale prices. So you want to go to close out warehouses, you want to also contact jobbers, find out if they know any special deals, and also contact closeout brokers, because a closeout broker can find you really good deals that you might not have been able to find on your own. Now, a closeout broker is going to mark up the merchandise, because that's how they make up their money. Let's say the closeout broker knows of a wholesaler that has um, watches, and that wholesaler sells those watches at $3 each. And 
Yeah, if you found that wholesaler, you can also buy their watches for $3 each, but you might not have the same connections that that closed-out broker has. You might never be able to find those watches. So the closed-out broker can give you those watches at $3.25 each, and if that's still a good price for you, then it's worthwhile to buy those watches through the closed-out broker. I would recommend to you, if you can, see the merchandise in person, get samples of the merchandise. If you can't go there in person, try to send someone to the warehouse so they can see the merchandise. For example, with my warehouse in New York, I welcome people to come. And if they can't come themselves, then I recommend if they have any family or friends, they should definitely send them to my warehouse. This way they can see what I have available. And if they want to order online without seeing the merchandise, they can do that also. That's fine. But always give yourself as many options as possible. And you want to deal with wholesale sources that give you those options. All right, so I know there's a you know very big market and your eBay sales, and what I recommend is whatever you're going to do, don't assume just because a product is cheap that you're going to be able to make money on it because there has to be a demand for that product. So always do your research before buying any wholesale products. All right, my website is closedatexplosion.com. Thanks from New York. You're welcome to come to the warehouse. Thank you, and have a good day.